PTW hyphen A movable prefabricated house assemblage process. After discharge at the site, every part must be placed in sorts. Make the foundation accordance with the requirement and pay great attention to the base foundation horizontal with a tolerance of less than 5 mm. Install the mud seal beam according to the house requirement. Please make clear distinction between gable mud seal beam DL1 and DL3. If mud seal beam DL2, DL4. And notice that the approach of the mud seal must face outward. Fix the partition mud seal beam's position and set DL5, DL6, DL7, and DL8. Install the column. At first, set the column at each corner of the house Z1, Z3, Z5, Z7, and pay attention that the column is symmetrical with each other. So make clear the left and the right column before you assemble it. Unscrew the bolt at the bottom inner side of the column. Then insert into the mud seal bin. Align the column screw with the mud seal reversed holes. Screw the bolt and make sure the corner columns are fixed with the mud seal. Fix the base ground and accurate square with a tolerance of less than 5 mm. Drill perpendicularly at the exposed reversed holes on the corner cones. Fix them with the ground with set screws. Then drill perpendicularly at the corner mud seal reversed holes and fix them with the ground with set screws. Pay attention that the mud steel must be aligned and straight when drilling. Set outer wall panel. Take one piece of outer wall panel WQ13 with the grooves and the tongues outward and then insert into the columns by the cut side. Take two pieces of WQ14 and one window. Set WQ14 and then set the window above the WQ14 and then WQ14 above again. Notice. When setting, the grooves and the tongues must be facing outward, and the WQ13 can be moved in by sideways. When setting the window, the moon lock must be inside the room. The grooves of the window must be fixed tight with WQ13, WQ14. Take a piece of WQ19 with the grooves and the tongues outward and insert into the columns with the cut side. After setting the wall panels, the columns should be adjusted to be perpendicular. Take a piece of wall panel, item number is WQ15, with the grooves and the tongues outward. Connect with WQ14 in the direction of the grooves and the tongues. Notice the direction of the door and make sure that the key holes is outside the room. Set the corner columns. Take one Z8 and insert the bottom of the column into the mud seal of the outer wall. Fix the partition, mud seal, column and the outer wall mud seal through the reversed holes with a screw bolt and a cover with the bolt cap. The partition columns and the panels should completely insert it. Take one SL8. Cover it at the top of the outer wall panel. Align SL8 with the reversed holes and the column screw holes. And then fix them with M8 screw arbor. Take one WQ16 and the way of fixing is the same as the way of WQ13. Take two WQ17 and one window. 
and the way of fixing is as same as the way of WQ14. Take one WQ18 and insert WQ18 into the middle of the column and WQ17. Take one SL7 and then cover it over the top of the outer wall. Align the reversed holes at the both end of the SL7 with the column screwed holes and fix them by using M8 screw arbor. Take one WQ7 with the grooves and the tongues outward. Insert the cut side completely into the column. Notice, after setting the wall panels, the columns should be adjusted to be perpendicular. Take one WQ8 and one WQ9 and then connect them with the wall panels at the grooves and tongues junction sockets. Take one Z6. Insert the column into the outer wall mud seal at the bottom. Use screw to through the reversed holes of the partition mud seal to the outer wall mud seal and then fix the partition corner column by the screw bolt. Notice, when inserting the outer wall mud seal, the reserved holes of the mud seal must be aligned so as to use the screw bolt to fix them. The partition collar column must be inserted into the gable panel WQ9 completely. Take one WQ10 with the grooves and the tongues outward. And then insert the cut side completely into the column. Take one WQ11 with the grooves and the tongues outward. And then connect with the wall panels at the grooves and the tongues junction sockets. Take one WQ12 and then insert it into the middle of the column and the WQ11 so as to make the wall panels perfectly fit with the gable medicine column and the WQ11. Take one SL5, cover it over the top of the gable panel in the middle of the corner column V5 and the partition corner column Z6. Align the reserved holes of the SL5 with the screw holes on the top of Z5 and then fix them by using M8 screw uppers. The reserved holes on the other side must be aligned with the reserved holes of Z6 and then fix them by using M8 screw uppers. Take one SL6 and then cover it over the top of the gable panel in the middle of corner column Z6 and the partition corner column Z7. Align the reserved holes of the SL6 with the screw holes of the Z7 and then fix them by using M8 screw uppers. Cover the other side of SL6 over the SL5 port. Align all the reserved holes and fix by using M8 screw hoppers. Take one WQ6 with the grooves and the tongues outward and then insert the cut side completely into the column. Take two WQ5 and one window and the way of fixing is as same as the way of outer wall fixing two and the window panels fixing. Take one WQ4 with the grooves and the tongues outward and then connect with the wall panels at the grooves and the tongues junction sockets. Take one Z4 and the way of fixing is as same as the way of Z8. Take one SL4 and then cover it over the top of the outer wall in the middle of Z4 and Z5. Align the reserved holes at the both ends of the SL4 with the column screw holes 
and fix them by using M8 screw arbor. The outer wall panels, which connecting with the partitions, must be installed in advance for the transport convenience of the partition. Those which not need to connecting with the partitions can be installed later. The way of fixing of the partition is as the same as the way of parallel partition and the gable wall. In order to fix the partition, the aluminum spacer must be set in the place where there are no partition corner columns in the middle of the outer wall and the gable wall. At the corner of the partition, the partition corner column must be installed before the partition panels. Pay attention that the column is symmetrical with each other. So make clear the left and the right column before your assemblage. The way of fixing of the corner column is as same as the way of the partition. After the fixing of the outer wall, gable wall and the partition wall is over. Drill through all the wall panels in the reserved holes, and then use the 5-6 screw bolt to grip. For those places that the screw bolt cannot grip easily, you can add some spacers. The fixing of purling. Take one of each SL1, SL2, and SL3 accordance with the width of the room and use M10 screw arbor to fix it on the upper beam reserved connection strap. The fixing of tiles. Start fixing the side cut tiles from one side of the gable wall and fix the tiles on the purling or upper beam. Then lay the tiles in order on the former tiles saw. All the upper tiles must be aligned to the ridge. The tiles must be aligned with each other and also with the exceeding distance of the gable wall at both ends. When fixing the tiles, the tiles screw bolt must be fixed on the tile source. Borger. Borger at the front and the rear. Secure the bottom of the tile with one side of the border and the other side oppressing the bottom of the tile saw. The length of both sides must be as same as the length of the tiles so as to fix it by using the clinch bolt after the border is perpendicular to the ground. The border on the eaves of the gable wall secure the tile saw with the upper side of the border and the other side oppressing the bottom of the tile and then fix it by using the clinch bolt. The gable wall eaves border is bilateral symmetry so please fix it accordance with the house bevel connection. Border on the outer ridge. Fill the ridge with the foam strap and then cover it with the border. Fix them by using the clinch bolts. When fixing the border outside the ridge, the distance between both sides foam straps must not be on the roof border. Border inside the ridge. Cut the border accordance with the actual length of the room and then align and oppress it with the tile. Fix them by using the clinch bolts. Eaves gutter fixing. Adjust the length of the eaves gutter accordance with the actual length of the house and then drill a hole for the water strap at the proper position on the eaves gutter. Fix the eaves gutter with the eaves gutter fixture and then oppress the inner side of the gutter onto the tiles. Border it by using 5 
self-drilling screw to fix the bulger through the reserved holes in the eaves gutter fixture. Sewer pipe installation. Connect one side of the short pipe with the water strap and then put the long pipe port outward and cover the short pipe. Then oppress them with the wall. Fix them by using self-drilling screw by 3.8 and the binding. Installation of the door lock. The doors and windows must be easy to shut and open. Make sure that the lock is usable. Notice. Make a clear distinction with all the symmetrical parts. The thin film on the sandwich panels must be cleared off except the customer's requirements. After the fixing is over, you should check all the rooms, walls, and roofs to see whether there are any transparent places. Block up the transparent places with the sealant. Every fixing procession must abide by the rules and the regulations. Safety helmet required when under operation. Safety belt required when working high above the ground.